So in order to get to the auto track screens, you're going to press the menu button and then you're going to use the scroll wheel to navigate to the auto track module. Once you get there, you select it. And the first thing we see pop up is the map. So if you go ahead and open your map, this is your normal run screen that you would utilize auto track on. Now you can see right now that guidance is off and we only have one piece of the pie. So that means our machine is configured with auto track ready from the factory and we have a receiver plugged in. But guidance is turned off because we have to select a guidance track. So in order to do that, we're gonna back out of the mapping screen and we're gonna use the scroll wheel to go to track setup. So we can select that. Right now, guidance is selected to be off. And we have 10 tracks that we can save in the system. So if we go ahead and select track one, it's gonna give us our auto track warning. We can accept that. Go back to our mapping screen. And now you can see our line is there and we have two pieces of the pie. So then to get our third piece of the pie, all we have to do is navigate to make sure the map is selecting our pie. We go ahead and put a check mark there to get the third. And then we can select our auto track resume button to get the fourth piece of the pie. And what our tracker is gonna do is navigate to get on that line. And then once we're on it, we will be auto tracking.